Before I begin my khutbah, I believe that it is important to bring to your attention one of the etiquettes of Jum'ah prayer. And by saying this, I'm not compelling you to adhere to it, but at least I have to relieve myself from the responsibility of not telling you. And that is, one of the beautiful etiquettes of Jum'ah, or a number of etiquettes, include the reward of one year praying and fasting. For each step you make from your home to the masjid. Imagine. So if you walk 10 steps, you will be rewarded 10 years. As if you have fasted these 10 years and prayed night prayer the whole night. What about if I live a hundred steps away, a thousand steps away? You do the math. These etiquettes, unfortunately, are not seen visibly in this masjid, which means that a lot of the worshippers are not doing it. The Prophet says, Ali Sallallahu Man ghassala wa ghtasam, wa bakkara wa abtaka, wa masha wa lam yarkab, wa dana min al-imam wa istama' wa asada wa lam yadhu, كتب له بكل خطوة يخطوها أجر سنة قيامها وصيامها. You do the translation. The Prophet says, "Ali Sussan, whoever wash for Jumu'ah and cleanses himself well and walks to the masjid and does not ride, walking from your car to here suffice." Now. And he draws closer and sits to the Imam. This etiquette cannot be seen when you're sitting at the end of the masjid or at the annex of the masjid and relaxing away. You have to draw closer to the Imam. I'm not get, getting any financial reward from you when you get closer, but you will. The Prophet says, and he listens and he does not divert, redirect his attention to anything else. Meaning that even the salam he does not answer. When someone says salamu alaykum, he does not answer, he does not look. Devoting all of his concentration and attention to the Imam. The Prophet says he will be rewarded with every step he makes the reward of a full year of fasting and prayer. So I relieved myself from the responsibility now it's in your courtyard to deal with it.